right, YouTube, this is my last video today, and I got better fucking shit to do to talk about this shit. Now, these same people are now calling me a handicapped. I abuse the handicapped people because I said that I did not like the retarded policeman. Episode 15, part two. I think if you're going to be handicapped or whatever and you got a funny stick, you wear it out. But there's a different way to wear it out. He's been the handicapped policeman for a hundred million fucking videos and now he needs to be the handicapped gynecologist or the handicapped brain surgeon or the handicapped this or the, ha the handicapped vice president of the United States of America. That would be funny as a motherfucker. Or the handic the handicapped CEO, the handicapped anything, the handicapped therapist, the handicapped, the handicapped race car driver, the handicapped NBA star, the handicapped anything. So when one person says something isn't funny and you offend somebody, that's fine. And now what I'm about to say is going to piss a whole bunch of fucking people off. Now, I learned a long time ago from a whole bunch of people that these people are only different. The only difference between me and a retarded person is they get X amount of dollars from the fucking government. That's it. These people go to work and they do everything that a regular person does. There is no difference between somebody like that and me. That period. Or you. These people are the exact same as us. And that's going to get me to this next point. If this man, slightly handicapped, can call me a fucking nigger, then I can call him whatever the fuck I want to. It's just like somebody told me a long time ago. Don't you put your hands on a woman. If a bitch walk up to me and punch me like a man, I'm putting foot to her ass. I don't give a fuck who the fuck she is. And if some handicapped motherfucker, because this happened to me before, walked up to me and grabbed me because it happened to me for I'm going to push his motherfucking ass off like I did last time. Yeah, I said it. They got huggy. Huggy. That's what he used to call the motherfucker. He'd walk up and hug up motherfuckers. Just hug a motherfucker. Big six foot eight grizzly bear looking like son of a bitch. I'll walk up and hug. Shove that motherfucker the fuck up off me. I give a fuck if you handicap or not. You don't put your motherfucking hands on somebody. And that can be taught to somebody because people learn. And if you can teach a handicapped person to put in some data on a computer, you can teach a handicapped person to clean this goddamn office space up. You can teach a handicapped person to do all this and that shit. You can teach a handicapped person to call people what they want to be called respectfully so if a handicapped motherfucker call me a nigger fuck that motherfucker and his goddamn handicap do you understand the significance of that I got my own motherfucking problems and just because somebody else got a problem I got to bend oh he's handicapped fuck that motherfucker just like that son of a bitch tried to walk up and hug me get the fuck off me do you understand that? I didn't want to say that man's name because he was handicapped. So I put a blank person on blast. And now I'm getting some flack for it. Fuck you motherfuckers. Fuck all you motherfuckers. You know who I'm talking about. So you go through every one of my videos, and when you get to the girl and the high school prom, you call me a motherfucking pedophile. And when you get to the motherfucking little six-year-old girl getting raped on the bus, you call me a racist because that motherfucking boy was white. And when you get to that motherfucking Oscar Grant video, when the motherfucker was shot down, you can go ahead and say I hate the motherfucking police. And you go through every one of my motherfucking videos, and you put me on goddamn blast. Because if that's what the fuck you think, you hear so then you do what it do bitch I don't give a fuck what you got just bring all you got you Paul syringe and all your friends you can come back up into this motherfucker and we can do it for the last time because I'm done with this you can call me whatever you want to every day of the week People who know me know who the fuck I am and ain't gonna listen to no bullshit being said about me. And if you wanna bring people to your page, go ahead and take a snapshot, baby. Put it in your background. Oh, I said some negative shit about Barack Obama. I guess I hate the country. In the last video, I said I'd sit with the Klan, the skinhead, and the Taliban. I guess you can call me a terrorist, too. Because if I want a better life for me, you, and everybody else in this motherfucker, let it be. And if you don't like me, then you won't never like me because I ain't got nothing for you but pain. So if you want to see me, 
You want to really see what this look like, baby. You've already had enough. I'm going to let you go now. Punk ass motherfucker. Imbecile clowns. I'm a racist. I hate people. I am nothing. Now what? Didn't you ever watch 8 Mile? How did, how did Eminem win that final battle? Huh? How did Eminem win that battle? A simple-minded person will never figure this out. But I'm going to break it down for the ignorant. If no one has nothing to say about you, they can't say nothing wrong about you. If someone says something wrong about you and it's true, and it is true, if there's any ounce of truth to it, you have no defense against that. Period. Now, if I tell everything about myself to everybody in exact in, in the entire planet, in the universe, in the world, what the fuck can anybody else say about me? I can do more damage to myself than anybody else trying to hurt me. You people still not understanding, are you? I am the way I am because of the situation around me. And there is about 65 million people exactly the same as me. They are the way they are because of the situation around them. So if a handicapped person calls you a nigger, why is this handicapped person calling you a nigger? Because he feels as if he can. I ain't gonna let no cripple, no mute, no blind motherfucker, nobody disrespect me. And I'm not giving a fuck about nobody else no more ever on YouTube. Because my people out here who watch my videos come to watch the real AIX. They don't have no time for this real BS. This is real bullshit. Now if you're so passionate about the retarded policeman, you bend over and let that motherfucker fudge pack you. Because I ain't finna pack you no more. You've got all the dick I got to throw. I am not about to keep fucking you. So you're done. Okay? So about you busting nuts all over my videos, because that's how you, you guys used the terminology last time. I'm coming on your videos. You can keep coming and keep coming and keep coming until you can't skeet no more, you little dick motherfucker. Come on all my videos until your computer start popping from the water all up in the motherfucker, the sperm burning up the goddamn keys. You fucking keep bringing it. On every video, Mr. Thomas, I want you to watch every one of my motherfucking videos. All 704 of the motherfuckers. And the foe I did about your bitch ass. And you flagged the fuck out of us. You heard me. Because people will see, based on your IP address, and how many times you befriended Paul Syringe. I said it. Maybe you didn't even know who Paul was until I mentioned it. But all I know is this. And this is true. Drama has no place on YouTube. You too old be trying to start some shit for no reason at all. Neither one of us is getting paid for this shit. And I'm not trying to make you somebody. So all I can say, Mr. Thomas, is thank you. You can feature as many of my fucking videos on your page is room if they if they give you extra space you just fill it up with nothing but AIX videos. You make sure everybody in the fucking world know that I I hate motherfucking handicapped people, fucking white people, Mexicans, niggas. I'm a fucking I like little girls in bathing suits and shit. Whatever the fuck you want to say about me, you let the fucking world know this motherfucker. Because there's 745 motherfucking videos up here. And by the time I'm done, it will be. But there's 700 something videos up here to prove you fucking wrong. And I already showed my ass twice. And that last time I showed my ass, that was private. And I'm still letting the world see. Stop fucking typing, Mr. Thomas. Put a camera in front of your face. Because the joust, the joust is over.